Your agents confirm there are Gatlock battles in Denerim's palace? Yes, and in Valroyo and across the Free Marches. The Winter Palace is not the only target. The Canari are one order from destroying every noble house in the known world. There is a bright side. Warning the ambassadors will remind them of the Inquisition's value. Not when the Inquisition is responsible for that threat. They came in through us? Yes. How, damn it! The elven servant handling the barrels confessed to working for the Canari. But the servant was Orlesian. That implicates Orle, not us. But the barrels arrived at the Winter Palace on the Inquisition Supply Manifest. <sighs> How are we supposed to fight a war when we can't even trust our own people? That's pretty smart, though. You know, implement, implicate the Inquisition at the same time as you explode all the high ups. Do you know who got the barrels onto the Inquisition Manifest? Yes, several of the Inquisition's elven workers have gone missing. I had their backgrounds checked. They joined the Inquisition after fleeing the chaos in Kirkwall. I remember when Kirkwall was at its worst. Many of the city's elves converted to the Kune, trying to find a better life. And the Canari turned them into spies. The Inquisition stopped Corypheus and saved the world. We can't let an outside threat change who we are. I fought to protect the Inquisition in this exalted council. And for what? So we could deceive and threaten those we claimed to protect? Once we locate the spies... This isn't about the spies! You hid the Kunari body. You all but seized control of the Winter Palace. We did what was right, not what was... All right, so we're gonna go with that, and we're gonna go activate the Alluvian. And for some reason, the last cutscene is weird. And not only is it weird in the fact that it just ends, but uh, also it kills my recording sound about halfway through it. So, I had a few times where I had to uh, <laughs> record the full session and didn't even notice Liliana it. told us about your little pyrotechnic display during your last chat. This seems kind of asshole-ish. This is just depressing. All of this is depressing. We all knew this was probably our last time out together. Let's make it a good one. Right. Last time to be legend. <laughs> Try to keep up. Enjoy me while you can. I expect you'll all miss me terribly later. Thank you. All of you. This, this is just depressing. No matter how many different times they do it, it is depressing. Look at this. It's an alluvian graveyard. Where did the Kunari get all these? 
How long have they been studying Alluvians? The sooner we stop this invasion plan, the better. He's been breaking glasses every damn where. Charging assholes. The Sarabas are drastically. Well, I say that, and I am a Sarabas. before he does another one of those. Picking her up when we have like three seconds to go. Let's see, there we go. It's useless. I don't really know what this is for. There's something... Hmm. I'm telling you, we just need we to hurry. cut it off. Call it even, and just cut the damn thing off. Why are the Kunari calling this plan Dragon's Breath? What do dragons have to do with assassinating heads of state? I don't understand any of this. It might not be the, the act, or not the act, it may not be the end results, the effects. It may be the, you know, the act of it. You gotta think, like, uh, what, what, what did that guy say? Gods. We need to deal with them as quickly as possible. He said, uh... Have you ever seen Dragon's Breath? It takes out everything in its path. It has nothing to do with the fact that they're exploding, you know, all these people. It's the, the method that they're doing it. The Gatlock, all at once. They whisper in your ear. Okay, try to get that to go through different. 
different times? And it said no. That's quite the door. Big bada boom. Oh, right, there's a thing over here. Yeah, I don't. I don't think Cassandra's right. I think it's got something to do with just the fact that they're using this Gatlock as if it was Dragon's breath taking out everything. Okay, that was cool. Taking out everything. Tear down the walls first. Miriam, do the Kunari have any idea what they're dealing with? Of course, but they're special and careful, and nothing bad will happen. Is that an Astrarium? How did the Kunari move it here? Perhaps we should keep our distance. Some of those artifacts are deadly. The the first hell a bunch of times I went through. Dorian spoke up of uh, stay away from the glowing pyramid, the one that he's currently standing on. Um, I, I lit the the owl for a reason. Uh, that there is a something about staying away from the glowing pyramid, but the reason why I lit the owl is there is a puzzle up at the very top here. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, go. Um. Pretty, pretty, self-portrait. And I will show you that puzzle in just a second. That sound you hear is the sound saying that the puzzle's been triggered. So this puzzle right here. One sees the hunter, one flees from it. One hunts it in turn, one outwits them all. Four parts to it. The uh, hunter part is the owl down at the bottom. The fleeing is from the... What is this thing? Hala? Hala. And then the hunter is obviously... The, uh, the hunter is obviously the, the dragon that's right here. And then when you get done, go all the way down, and there is a nice little bit of loot right here. Well, I say a little bit of loot. It's one thing of loot. It's a rogue's stabby stab. I'm not sure what triggers them to say different things at different times, because nothing has changed. Uh, all the vocal decisions I've kept... What are you two doing? I've kept the same. The only part that's different is uh, how fast I'm going through this, because it's... Like, I've been through this four times. 
Um, I get up to the big door, which we'll see at the later. And then... I'm like, okay, time's up. Let's try this. And dip, dip, stupid big door. Uh, but let's see. Working with co-workers, right? Right. So, there's the three turns here for the big door in the back. This one, the middle one, moves the top. This one moves the top and the left. And then this one moves the right and left. That is Trixie with all of them and we're through. So you have to get the right one locked into position. Then you move these so that they're even with each other. That looks about right. And use the third one get them to move in unison. Let's go. Voila. Whoop. There's guys down there he's trying to get to. Set that off. Set that off. This off. That. Yeah, I'm kind of like fed up because I've had to do this section several different times. I try and do this all like first time first seat thing, but having issues with the recording. Yeah, that's what you get for doing stupid shit like that. The Kunari, Kunari Talvashoff exploded up your ass. Okay, okay. So, we have done a thing. We beat up a bunch of people. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, wait. Da, 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 da. Okay, we're gonna kill these guys. Sarah. Get up, woman. Is that it? Okay. Ow! Stay with us. Seriously. Just just lop the damn thing off. Personally prefer when Sarah's like get better, yeah. Stop hurting. But I will take Cassandra. As I said, I'm not really sure what's triggering people to say different things. I know loot lists when I see them, tracking their stuff like a fat fence, but they don't sell it, and they're well fit. Morgan said the key to an Alluvian could be anything, including knowledge or power, so they're stockpiling both. That's how they got the keystone and opened so many of the Alluvians we've seen. They will have defenses in place. We must not stumble into anything blindly. Is that a copy of Swords and Shields? <laughs> that, that entertains me every time. The fact that she gets onto Sarah earlier about paying attention and then she's like, oh, Swords and Shields. Oh my. And the fact that this is literally a giant desk ornament. 
dragon skull, it's just a giant desk ornament. That's all they use it for. Uh, that way is the big door. But there is... Some stoofs. Some loots. Belt. Book. Pages. Now this is interesting because it talks about a specimen. Or the specimen, see? It talks about a specimen and getting venom from it, and it's like, okay. So they have something big. Well, this, I think it's one of those weird stalker things from out in the desert. Uh, they look like giant like anteaters. Um, it's... it's it makes me think of it like a giant anteater. They disappear. Crap. Camera with the cult. Uh, where is... Sandra? I find it funny that it says her. Actually... I kind of want that for myself. Um... Uh, where's it going with this? Right. I think it's... It could be one of those ant easier things, because I think they spat poison. Last time I checked. Because I think they did. Might be wrong on that. But, I think it might be one of those. And they're, like, taking poison from it. And using it to make this Gatlock at a quicker pace. And if that's the case, then we're royally screwed because they're making it by the buttload. Uh, whoa. What the hell was going on there, Dorian? They're just making this highly potent uh, explosives by, like, the ocean full. <sighs> So if we can get the... Th well, I don't know. They got Gatlock all over the damn place. So what's the point in getting it away from them? Hmm. Alright, so we're at the fabled door. Let's hope this all works out. Hey, all Inquisitors. Hobble Dragon catching up. Thanks for coming back. If the memories are fond, like and subscribe. Keep the old bond strong by solving new mysteries and click the link to the right. But if you're not willing to taint the golden memories, click to the left.